this video, we're taking a look at an absolute sleeper, the MTZ 556. Do not sleep on this assault rifle because it is the talk of the town recently after the MCW nerfs. Putting air quotes around that because the MCW is still good, but definitely give this a try if you have not already. If you're living under a rock, get out from under it. The MTZ is the real deal. So if you guys enjoy, feel free. Drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn the notifications. This class setup has no recoil, max damage. Y'all know the drill. All right, let's go ahead and create the new absolute best and fastest killing MTZ 556 class. This is the talk of the town after the MCW nerfs. Definitely give this a go. Now for the first attack, we are running a muzzle and we believe it or not, are gonna be rocking the Shadow Strike Suppressor. We are not gonna be rocking the Compensated Flash Hider. This is gonna be a good attachment, completely removing us from the radar. So we get on their spawn, build up a quick and easy streak and drop those MGB nukes. I was able to get three of them with this class. I know for a fact you guys can tear it up. So definitely have this on your setup. We are gonna run a barrel on this build and the MTZ Rowan XL356 is phenomenal. Doing everything we needed to do. Increased recoil control, gun kick control, and my favorite, aim idle switch controllability. So we can literally stay aimed down sight if we need to at longer ranges and absolutely dominate. This is a perfect attachment on this setup because we are not gonna be running an under barrel. Now, because we're not running an under barrel on this build, we are gonna rock a magazine and I highly recommend running the 50 round drum here. We're gonna go ahead and bump the capacity so we can map and outgun multiple people at the same time without having to reload. The MTC does have a relatively fast fire rate, which is a good thing, so this is gonna be a W attachment. Now, because the MTZ, when you are not running an underbarrel, is gonna have a little bit of a weird recoil pattern, we're gonna correct that with a stock, and I recommend running the MTZ Maruder stock here, bumping up that recoil control and gun kick control. Definitely a nasty attachment on this specific setup, because, again, we're not running an underbarrel, so we're gonna need that additional recoil and gun kick, so we can go full auto across the map without worrying about a thing. Definitely amazing. And then finally, we are gonna run an optic on this build. I do recommend running the Jack Glasses optic just so we can get additional support at longer ranges, firing aiming stability, a precision sight picture, and less visual recoil. You guys are gonna be going crazy with attachment. I run it on a lot of my ARs and SMGs here in multiplayer. Once you jump into the firing range, you're gonna see this is gonna be a nasty build because again, we don't have any attachments that are gonna be speed up any ADS speed, but we don't need to. It's the MPZ, it's nature, is it's gonna be a mobile assault rifle and we are going to be having something used at longer ranges so this is overall a massive massive w for the secondary we are going to be rocking the core 45 i still like the core 45 over the vernetti i will have a vernetti video out very soon but i still recommend running the conversion kit transforming this into a submachine gun we do have on the 40 round drum we're rocking the so skeletal vertical grip we have on the colossus suppressor xs version and we are going to be rocking the xrk dynamic prison stock courtesy of the conversion kit to give it increased gun kick as well as good old recoil control do not forget to rock munitions box scavenger gloves covert sneakers bone conduction headset to your footsteps and gunfire a hell of a lot easier and we are running ghost to keep us off that radar and you guys know the drill comms vest is going to be phenomenal acting like a 24 7 uav every time you kill somebody remember their body you drop a radar beacon let you know exactly where everybody is at this mtz setup is unbelievable i was able to drop three nukes i know for a fact you guys can tear it up as well so give this a go if you guys enjoy feel free drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel turn the post notifications Let's go ahead and get into the game plays, man. All right, let's get busy with the MTZ. This has been the talk of the town recently within season three, especially in Warzone. Get up on top. I've been getting Favela a lot and I am not complaining one bit. They got a full team. They must have all flanked. They had to have all flanked. They did what I do and rotate the left side all the way around and flip the spawns because absolutely nobody the is where they should be right now. I have a combat knife? What the hell? Online. 
next hard point. Stand by. Lily Y. The comms vest is so good. Shit, teammate bro these guys are like nowhere near to be they're like nowhere to be found right now rotate over here Dude, do they have six people on their team? Like, what the heck? Okay, well, they're trying to go and sit in corners and camp, so that's not helping. Oh my god, yeah, these guys are not moving. Yeah, this is this. These guys are not moving in here, y'all. Literally, they're all just hiding. I'm not messing with that. What I'm gonna do right now is actually attack these guys over here. Shit, in a way, I kind of want to have, I want to kind of pick up that sniper rifle, no cap. Does he still have that sniper? Rotate over here. Yo, I got a teammate on a 20 right now. Confirming next hard point. Stamp hard point compromise. Secure the area. I, I have a teammate on a 20 with no advance called in. What's wrong with this picture right now? Where, where, where is the advanced UAV at? You're welcome. Holy shit. Secure the area. 
waiting. Stand by. That was unbelievably lucky. AFK. That's not my nuke. That. So who got the nuke? Oh, Savage kills. Hey, GG. All right, let's get busy with the MTZ. Oh god, we gotta keep it moving then. Confirming next target. Hard the area. That's called movement right there. We need it. We need UAVs. Event. They're literally. Oh shit. EMP. Dude, I've been seeing so many tack eradicators on the map recently. Like, bro, I'm I'm every every lobby. They didn't touch the tack eradicator either. I'm just seeing a lot of fellas use it. These guys are underneath. They're literally trying to shoot each other with <laughs> Because of the, the EMP. Oh my gosh, I love it. Friendly counter UAV is online. Do a wrap. Stand by. I'm with you. We have taken the lead. Target area updated. On a twenty. Come on, man. I don't. Hard point relocating. Stand by. Hard point relocating. Secure the target area. We're on a twenty four. Can somebody get like a UAV or something right now? Hard point compromised. Secure the, the enemy holds the lead. Box sticking. Hard 
25. Friendly UAV online. Yes. Enemy close. That wasn't the guy with the knife. Confirming next hard point. Stand by. Enemies inside the perimeter. Let's head over here. That was a clutch nuke. <sighs> oh well. Look, I don't know. I don't know what's been going on today, but Man, these lobbies, they've been, they've been slow, 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 slow today recently, man. I don't know what's been going on. I mean, they technically did somewhat slow down the pacing slightly. But, man. All this VTOL in. Copy that. Phoenix 2 3 is on stage. Hard point relocated. Secure the target area. It's advanced. Is ready for deployment. Might be able to squeeze a double, potentially, if things speed up. That might be asking too much. We got like a minute. We're on a 20. This guy better get... He, this fella needs to get streaks in order for me to get this double. Yeah, I mean, these are the...
on a brutal right now. for the nuke oh my god that was for the double what a turn on for the double oh my god friendly UAV online. I, I nuke finally got killed too let's get it